everybody welcome back to the seesaw it is sunday today and i've just got back from grocery shopping so yesterday was halloween um and we had a bit of a halloween kind of just the three of us party planned and so i didn't go shopping yesterday i had everything i needed for that um so i went this morning now obviously this came on the back of the announcement of the lockdown last night so when that happened i was like oh no i should have gone shopping on saturday um but really it wasn't too bad i went to audi and sainsbury's i didn't have to queue at either sh either shop and yet yesterday during the day i think on the promise that this lockdown announcement was coming um, local Facebook groups were showing long queues to get into both stores, but this morning or lunchtime today it was fine. We had rugby practice this morning, probably the last one for a month or so. Um, but the, the, there was not a queue, I, I walked straight in. So Audi has the traffic light system and Sainsbury's has somebody on the door um, and walked straight into both. Um, I did comment to the lady in Audi at the checkout that I was expecting it to be busier and she said it had been busy this morning. Um, and it had just sort of quietened off a bit. So um, I think I just picked perfect time. And Sunday lunchtime is actually quite a good time because a lot of families still have a traditional lunchtime meal on a Sunday. So I have found in the past that's quite a good time to go. I got everything I needed. There was no shortages on the shelves. Um, the kind of canned food aisle in Sainsbury's was really busy. There was lots of people in that aisle. I didn't need anything down there. Um, but I did notice that aisle was really busy. Um, and in Audi, kind of things like rice and pasta and stuff like that were getting limited, um, but there was still enough for everybody in their shopping that needed anything. So didn't really notice any shortages. I'm sure that will change as people will, I'm sure, go back to the habits from earlier in the year. Although maybe we learned our lesson that you don't need to go mad and buy everything in the shop. There was even toilet roll, um, plenty of it in both shops. So... Um, I spent £64 in Audi and then another £26 in Sainsbury's, so £90 altogether. Now, the £26 did include I was really hot in Sainsbury's, so today is not actually cold, but we've been out to rugby and I had my woolly hat on. Didn't have time to do my hair or do anything with my hair before I went grocery shopping because I just wanted to get up there. So I still had a woolly hat on, a sweatshirt, jeans, boots, a coat. And by the time, and with the mask on, by the time I got into Sainsbury's, I was sweltering. So I bought a drink and then I thought it's getting late. I'm going to buy a sandwich for lunch as well. So I, I bought a kind of meal deal for what, three pounds, something like that, three or four pounds in Sainsbury's. Um, so that was part of that um, 26 pounds. So 90 pounds altogether, kind of, it's more than I've been paying with my extra discounts at Tesco from either my 10% off or the club card pricing. But I think it means now that I can strike a good balance between alternating between Audi and Sainsbury's and Tesco's and still spend about the same amount um, every week, somewhere between 80 and 90. Um, obviously, over the next month, I do try to buy a few extra bits to start to stock up for Christmas. Um, I haven't started yet, but I will probably from next week's shop. I try to throw a few extra things in each week, the things that will be shelf stable and that we can keep. But um, so that will add to the cost a little bit, but it means I don't have to go out and do a huge shop in the week leading up to Christmas because we've already got a lot of the extras. I just need to buy the fresh things. So um, I will turn you around. I will show you what I picked up. And then as always at the end, I'll show you our meal plan for the rest of this week. So yesterday we had a Halloween party. I've done a little video clip of that, which we'll put into our meals of the week. Um, but um, yeah, it was just some kind of party foods we did yesterday. Um, so it will start from today. So um, let me show you what we got. So there is the sweep. Caleb's back to school this week. So a little bit of stuff for packed lunches, but not as much stuff for snacking at home. Um, I picked up these. I buy these every Christmas. I So I love snowmen in general. I've always had this thing about snowmen. I've got quite a big collection of Christmas snowmen and some that I keep out all year round, like my little fella on the window ledge here. Um, but when, but it started when this movie originally came out. I was obsessed with it. I think it's such a magical... I just love it and it just gives me goosebumps even thinking about the movie but the original snowman i do like snowman and snow dog it's quite a cute twist to the story but the original snowman i absolutely love that and so when they started making these kitchen towels with the snowman on several years ago um i started buying some every christmas now they had loads of both these and the toilet paper in audi they were 99p for a pack um so i've got some now so i don't have to 
think about it then. I know I've got them, I'll put them away and they'll be our Christmas kitchen towels. Uh, I don't buy the toilet paper, that just feels wrong to me. <laughs> I don't know, that's just weird. Um, but I do buy the kitchen towel. I got a couple of soaps while they had them in with the nozzles on um, just to stock us back up and a pack of four toilet roll. Now I have toilet roll on my November subscribe and save from Amazon. We get the big pack of I think it's um, five of the packs of nine toilet rolls or something like that. 40, I think it's 45 rolls and we get those every kind of three months. And so these are just topping us up until those arrive and hopefully I'll get those fine. Um, a regular um, both in one bread, some free range eggs, two packages of naan bread. So Caleb has finally decided he quite likes curry. So now when we have a curry, it's all of us eating. And so two naan breads. Although Caleb and I could probably share one, um, again, Caleb has developed a bit of a taste for it, so he's probably going to want one for himself. So I've had to buy two, and I looked for the packs of mini naan breads, but they didn't have any. Um, crispy snacky things, I've got some butter kissed sweet popcorn, some salt and vinegar swirls, and a pack of variety crisps. Some of the little cartons of orange juice, Caleb has really, this has been his go-to thing for his lunchbox for a drink. Um recently so he's gone away from the kind of little fruit shoot type of drinks um and the flavored waters that he was having and he's gone to fruit juice and then i got a can a pack of six of the um tropical blend um tropical blitz is it called tropical blast and um, which is the lilt type of drink um some flatbreads i didn't they didn't have my favorite ones the deli kitchen ones um the greek style ones that i absolutely love the big ones um, but uh, they didn't have any, the shelf was empty, so I've just picked up regular flatbreads. Some safari snacks, chocolate digestives, and some of the cookies and cream. Another pack of the salted caramel crumble mince pies. These will be in my cart every time they're in between now and Christmas when I go to Aldi. I absolutely love them. I have one a day when I have them as a little evening treat if we haven't got anything else for pudding, and um, with a little squirt of cream on and... Um, it just makes my day, <laughs> ends my day on a perfect note. Um, so again, they have plenty of them in today. They will start to get limited because obviously they only produce so many. So the closer you get to Christmas, the more these things get limited. Um, and I'm not going to stock up on them. I just if they've got them in, I will buy myself a pack. Um, long grain rice, some hoops. Caleb asked for hoops this week for cereal. Um, some breadsticks, custard. Baking powder, plenty of baking stuff in. These are my um, favourite kind of treat Christmas chocolates. They're the little truffles with the flakes of chocolate on. And I had some of these in a gift basket last year. The Aldi ones, which are the Mosa Roth, which is their brand of chocolate. And they were really lovely and I enjoyed them just as much as the um, the bigger brands that, that sell them. Um, so I've grabbed a box thinking I'll put them away till Christmas, but I know that I won't. Because the minute I have a chocolate craving, and with all this madness going on this week, work is going to be crazy. So at our work, we are manufacturing, so we should be able to stay open. But we're going to have, we've got a meeting tomorrow morning at nine o'clock to kind of put our plan in place. But also up at our site in Hull, we've had three confirmed cases of COVID amongst the staff over the weekend. So we've got to respond to that. So I think with all of that going on this week and the US election, um, I think I don't imagine these will last at the end of this week, let alone until Christmas. Um, a bottle of ketchup, some of the peri peri mayo. I got two of these Nando's, so these were a pound each. We tried the bake in the bag one, which was quite nice last time, but I've got the dry rub. They didn't have in Aldi any of this sort of stuff anywhere. I couldn't find it anywhere in the store. Um, so I've, they've moved stuff around to make room for some of the Christmassy stuff, but. I could not find like rubs and spices other than the little bottles of like paprika and chili powder and stuff. But this sort of thing, which is usually near to the um, ketchups and stuff like that in our Aldi was nowhere to be found. So I was planning to get the Aldi version of this, but didn't have it. So picked up this one and also the coat and cook one, which is the wet mix. So I've got two packages of chicken thighs to cook up for peri peri. So I'm going to do one of each and see which we like best. Onto the fridge, a large semi skimmed milk, two boxes of smoothies and an orange juice. So our normal little mix there. Um, some breaded ham, some Huda cheese. Um, I'm making a dish this week that 
if I was in the States, I would use regular Swiss cheese. And this is the closest to a Swiss cheese that we can get easily here at the grocery stores. I got two pots of the um, kind of fresh pasta sauce, spicy Italian sausage and tomato, and then the regular tomato and basil. I'm going to make a dip this week um, just to have as a kind of a lunch and appetizer. Tony and I have both taken Wednesday off work so that we can stay up and watch the results of the US election. I know we're sad, but <laughs> that's what we've done to use up a day of our holiday that we accrued from not taking holidays this year. Um, and so I thought I would make a pizza dip. So I've got some hot pepperoni as well. Um, and it's just kind of a dip that you have with the breadsticks and that might keep us going through the night. Um, I got Caleb a little sushi for his lunch. Chipolatas, these are to cook up. Caleb's got three pack lunches this week and I quite like to put chipolata sausages in. Much cheaper than buying the packs of, um, of little mini sausages because he on his own cannot get through a whole pack of those, the little cocktail sausages. Um, before they start to go so I cook up these and then I'll give him some with like ketchup and some carrot sticks and cucumbers and bits like that one day and then I'll use some and make him some wraps so like almost like little hot dogs but made with wraps another day I've got two packages of the two gallon steaks the unsmoked ones some frozen peas a large whole chicken two packages of the chicken thighs again one pack of these is not enough for us Two is a bit much, but Tony will take some leftover chicken for lunch. I was looking for chicken breast. They didn't have any of the smaller packages, but I got this big, um, kind of nearly two kilo, because I can break that down into probably three lots of chicken for us um, and pop it in a freezer. Um, turkey mince, and then white potatoes, some carrots, some mini potatoes, a head of broccoli, Button mushrooms, so just lately I've found the button mushrooms are looking better than the closed cut mushrooms, the regular white mushrooms. Um, and usually whatever I'm making, I'm chopping them up anyway. So I'm, I've just been buying the buttons. A cucumber, a pack of mixed peppers, some celery sticks, romaine lettuce, some baby corn, some dill and curly parsley two packages of Braben apples and two punnets of plums so I am going to make a plum and apple cobbler this week um, and I quite like the Braben apples mixed with plum I think that makes a nice um, fruit combination and then just a pack of Braben's for eating as well they were less than a pound the Braben's at the moment in Audi um, some lemons three Bramley cooking apples some strawberries and some wonky blueberries. So that was the haul. Looking at our meal plan, so as I said, last night we had a Halloween party. Tonight we're going to have, again, something different for a Sunday, but we're gonna have gammon, chips, eggs, and Tony and I will have baked beans. Monday night, we're going to have Swiss mushroom chicken with new potatoes and broccoli. So parsley, new potatoes, some fresh broccoli, and then the chicken is just some of the chicken breast just cooked with some mushrooms and some of that Swiss cheese grated over. It's really tasty. Um, Tuesday, I'm going to make a spag bowl with garlic bread. Wednesday, a chicken rice hot dish. So in the States, there's, a, there's some things that are called just a hot dish. and It's a, it's a bit like a casserole. Um, and it's just something often that you would take to a potluck or that sort of thing. It's quite portable um, and often all just made in one dish. So this is an oven baked chicken and rice dish. Thursday, we'll have the peri-peri chicken with flatbreads, potatoes, and salad. And then Friday, we'll do chicken curry. I've got some Mayflower curry powder in, so that's uh, our favorite kind of just quick curry. Um, and Caleb quite likes it now too. So we're going to have that with rice and the naan breads. So that is our plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and meal plan. And we look forward to seeing you back here on The Seesaw soon.